Hi friends, welcome to my channel. I have an unboxing of a pre-order. So this is from Wonders Emporium. As you can probably tell, I've uh, got a lot of pre-orders with Wonders Emporium. So they are coming along bit by bit. So what do we have in this one? Nice big box. And we have a bookmark, a bookmark, an envelope. So that's in the envelope. Book, oh, I've written a sticker there. Um, so we've got the thank you card. And then I've got two cards here. I've got the Ten of Cups from a deck I really don't know. I've no idea what this deck is. But it's got the planet and the uh, yeah astro astrological information. So if you're doing the Deacons, that's interesting, isn't it? The Ten of Cups. And a Ten of Swords. So we've got two Tens. <laughs> oh, looks really sad, doesn't it? Oh, we've kept the red blanket as well, which is cool. Um, don't know this deck either. But yeah, two decks that I'm not familiar with. Let's put those to one side. Okay, so, ooh. Oh, that's cool. An unpicker. I use unpickers to actually open the cellophane off and shells included one isn't that brilliant oh that is so thoughtful oh, i'm really happy with that what else do we have oh stickers i think i think they're stickers i've got oh i don't you're not going to be able to see this <laughs> i need something white hold on oh, we'll put that underneath then we can see it properly look it's got a little butterfly we have Mushrooms and crystal. Oh, aren't they gorgeous? Oh, lush. Those are going in my journal, for sure. Oh, these are really nice. And another little charm, and it's a feather. Oh, that's really pretty. It's so pretty. Oh, really nice. Oh, well, everything in there is right up my street. In fact, I'll use that to open the packages. Anyway, coming to the packages. So we have, we have the Mystic Palette Tarot in the uh, sepia version. Now, I have got the other version, the kit version. Um... So I'll record this with that deck, actually, because it will make more sense. But today, I'm going to look at this one, which is the Wee Moon Tarot. Now, you might know the Wee Moon from their diary offerings. And I have got some in the past. I haven't had them for quite some time, actually, because they're American. And yeah, we all know the shipping problems. Although, actually, you can get them on Amazon. That's a price, I think. Um, but yeah, I've always liked the Wee Moon Diaries, so I thought the Wee Moon Tarot would be very interesting too. So it's Mother Tongue Inc. that produced those. It says, check our website for information on everything we offer. You can also join our mailing list to receive occasional brief and inspiring missives from us. So, yeah. And this is $45. And we've got some images on the sides. 40 years of Wee Moon. Wow, they've been going 40 years. Actually, they've spelt 40 in a very strange way. Mm, they put a U in. That's weird. Anyway, 40 years of Wee Moon distilled into a unique deck featuring beautiful art by women from around the world. Box set of 78 cards with accompanying booklet created by Wee Moon's founder, Masua. Masua. 
and some more images. So it's, it's a two part box with a thumb cut out, plain inside. And inside, oh, they're colour coded. Okay, so we've got the booklet here, colour coded. That's nice, a nice big uh, writing as well. So what's in here? Let's just have a quick, Ooh, they're very slippy cards. <laughs> Let's have a quick look. There's a wild card. So this is 2022. Uh, there's a dedication, a forward, preface, title page, copyright information, dedication, forward, introduction, card descriptions, design of the deck, tarot card spreads, conclusion, appendix, acknowledgements and the artist. So here's the introduction. The origins of tarot. We've got the elements. Yeah, colour coded. And it's different artists actually for the cards. Yeah. So a bit like the 78 tarot versions where it's all different artists for each deck. Uh, for each card, sorry. Uh, preparation for reading, an initial reading, and then we're into the cards, the full. And underneath it tells us who the artist is and the year. So for here, the full is Sandra Stanton, 1996. Oh, this is going to be nice. Look. Ooh. Oh, so we've got little thumbnails of each image from the card. And it looks like we've got them from every card. And it also looks like we've got some landscape cards as well as portrait. That's interesting. Structural design. This is interesting. Look, so there's a spiral on the hand, and then the little fingers earth, the ring finger is water, the big finger, I don't know what's called, well, the third finger is fire, fire, and then we have air. Well, actually, am I looking at the right way around? Yes, air, and spirit is the thumb. That's, I wonder why. I'm gonna have to have a little read of that later. Skeletal structure. Okay, this is yeah, this is how to go about reading the cards using like numbers, elements, that sort of thing. So we have a spiral here and they've put the cards on the spiral. How interesting is that? And look at this, we've got daughter, mother, foremother, and crone, or sage, matriarch, priestess. Amazon. Oh, this is so interesting. Oh. Okay. And then the Zodiac. Gosh, there's a lot of information for such a tiny book. This is so useful. And then we have some spreads. And a conclusion. This is really good. It has been cut quite close to the print, but all the text is there. Our acknowledgements and the featured artists. So where are they from? That one doesn't say. This is Canada. Oh, HI, wherever that is, I'm not sure. Sweden. Santa Fe, Canada. Oregon, I think. Fort Wayne. Oakland. Yes, yeah, so that's all America and Canada. I'm just looking to see if there's any, yeah, Carolyn Hillier, England. Oh, brilliant. That is brilliant. You might know Carolyn Hillier's work from that amazing, amazing deck, The Weaver's Oracle. That's just, it's just an amazing deck, that one. Um, and her husband, well, partner, I'm not sure, but yeah, Nigel Shaw. Music is amazing. Anyway, Kathy McClelland, yeah, know that name. So there's some actual tarot people here as well. Deborah Cough Shaping, know that name. Ellen Lorenzi Prince, yeah, the Dark Goddess Tarot. Some I don't know. 
Someone from Devon. Oh, that's not far from me. I might have to look that person up. Canada, Texas. Oh, there's quite a few. Mm, so there you go. Those are the artists. So nice to know and nice to be acknowledged as well. OK, so we've got, what have we got? A cover card all about Mother Tongue Inc and who they are and what they offer. And these are the backs of the cards. Aren't they beautiful? All the phases of the moon there. And we've got a plain white card with the back image on it. Plain white card. And then we're into the deck itself, which is going to be a bit shiny, I think. But let's see how we go. Um, yeah, they are glossy cards. They're not super glossy, but they are glossy. And it would seem the image cuts off here, although the border is black. So I can actually see that the image here ends there and there. Oh, <laughs> oh there you go. <laughs> you can see it properly there on the Magician or the Witch, if they uh, renamed it. Okay, let's have a look anyway. So I like this fool. I like the fact that it's break, breaking out of its shell. What a great metaphor. And we've got the goddess here, look. Egyptian, I think, looking at that head. Oh, that's beauty. The magician or the witch. Full hands. It's like a tapestry effect, isn't it? And they've actually got the name of the artist on the bottom of each image on the cards themselves. So that's really good. And this was 2013. Well, the priestess, priestessing the planet. So some very different art styles already. And a very different image for a priestess. This is going to be, yeah. Lovely energy to work with. Look at this. Look at this. Isn't that just beautiful for the Great Mother? Embodying spirit. Wow. That's quite captivating. You can see the little bird. Oh, and this rainbows. Oh, such a lot to look at. Oh, so instead of the emperor, we have the empowerer. That's cool. Wisdom, compassion and power. So it is quite a feminine based deck. Sacred Paths for the Hierophant. Oh, that is really nice. And it's named Sign Language. Oh, I'm so glad I've got this deck. <laughs> when I saw it had come out in the States, I thought, oh, I'm never going to be able to have this deck. And I followed it and I thought, oh, well. You never know, do you? So this is Deborah Cough Chapin. 2000 this was uh, painted in the spirit of love. Recognising each other there. The charioteer is in a boat holding course. Yes, that's yeah, that's a good metaphor, actually, isn't it? You know, for the chariot trying to keep it uh, in one direction when everything is trying to blow it this way <laughs> We've got some Egyptian pyramids here. Wow. Restorative justice. So we've got an Ouroboros. This is mending the web. Wow. Oh, there's a lot to look at. The hermit is the crown. Oh, look at this. The wise one. Wisdom. Jewel of the Night, Tamara Phillips. The Wheel of Life, Natural Balance, instead of the Wheel of Fortune. But we can see the seasons here as well in the world. We've got animals on each side here. This is beautiful. We've got Fey Energy as well. Oh, 
I really enjoy sitting with this. I seem to be upside down here now for some reason. <laughs> I think maybe when they slipped out of my hands, I might have ended up inside, uh, upside down. Look at this, look at this, holding us together for strength. Are these people here? Notice strength is at 11 and justice is at 8, so they've gone with the Thoth numbering system. Okay, the hanged one. Oh, I've seen something similar to that for the hanged one. Oh, what deck was it? I'm not going to remember off the top of my head. That's nice. All these lights here as well. Oh, we have death. A little bit light seers. <laughs> the other side, this is Kathy McClelland. Look at those stars. Oh, it's Nui, Nos or Nuit. I, don't, I really don't know how we pronounce the Egyptian goddess of the night here. Nuit, Nuit, Nuit. New to me? I don't know. Anyway, we have a phoenix for regeneration. And all the stars, the moon, the butterfly. Yeah, all the symbols are there, aren't they? Temperance, radical balance. That's quite a different sort of image for temperance. I mean, we've got the elements here coming together. But yeah. Oh, wild card. Oh, okay, so instead of the uh, the devil, yeah, instead of the devil, we have a wild card. Devilish dilemmas, and we're all on our phones. <laughs> Whereas this person here is seeing the light. <laughs> hmm. 2018. Hmm. Okay, the tower here. So what's happening on this tower? So we've got the tower card there. We've got coming out of the tower there. Pouring out here, and it says dreaming. I'm not quite sure. Yeah, I think that says dreaming as well. So, yeah, there's lots of different tower images here. So it seems like we're dreaming while awake, <laughs> but we're lifting the lid here. So we're lifting the roof off to see what is real and which structure doesn't serve us anymore. I like that. House of Cards, it's called. Hmm, very interesting. Stars, stardust. Wow. All this DNA as well down the sides. Oh, I've seen this image. It's on the, f oh yeah, it's on the front of the uh, guidebook. We have the moon and the path. Oh yes, lovely. The sun. All that energy radiate, radiate there. Life force, it's called. Judgment. Gosh, that's, yeah. See, I always call judgment the wake-up call. Always call it the wake-up call. Um, what do we have here? The wake-up call. This looks a bit northern lights there. But look at all this electricity coming from the headspace. We're not Superman, are we? We can do our little bit, but we're not Superman. But we need to wake up before it is too late. So here we've got a landscape card for the world. Yeah, the World Wide Web, isn't it? Coming full circle, weaving that web together. Yeah, so I'm upside down again for some reason. And we have for fire this orangey colour. And the ace, I am awakening. And interesting, we've got some glyphs as well here. So we've got the sun and we've got the wand. This solar plexus energy here, drawing down the sun. So the two are fire, the art of love. <laughs> Very watercolour, isn't it? Look how we. Her watercolour just spreads itself with its stunts. is such a great effect there. Brilliant. The three. That's 
spontaneous combustion. <laughs> wow, that's different. Gosh, <clears throat> slipping all over the place these cards. Okay, so we've got another landscape. The four. Sisterhood is powerful. Five. Radiance. Not what we'd normally see, is it, for a five of uh, wands? The six. Passion. Because it's hard. The seven. Courage and facing fear. What? So they're being rescued from a burning building. Whew. Activism for the eight. We have create, creative fire for the nine. Lots of uh, images down the bottom here as well. And then for the ten, embracing the universe. On the back of a black bird. The planets. Okay, so we're coming to the court card. So we start with Amazons as daughters. This is Celebrate. Mother, tending the hearth. It's Celtic, isn't it? Fire priestess. Fire matriarch. Ancestral power. Fire crone sage. Cauldron of regeneration. Two phases here. And the arms have turned into like I don't know, snakes maybe? Or birds? Tree of life, this is called. An homage to the mothers of the disappeared. Oh, oh there's a story there. Okay, so we've come to Earth next. Wow, well, look at this. Mother Nature at the age of three. <laughs> uh, holding the hands and the fish and the birds and the snake and the frog all gone oh. oh this is such an amazing deck oh I'm so happy I have this deck two of earth duality both and a mirror. Gaia rhythms for the three of earth. Wow. Frequencies. Hmm? Familiars for the four. <laughs> Healing ourselves for the five. Broken hearted, butch Madonna mends her own heart. Mm, wow. These are, we're saying wow a lot. <laughs> Abundance for the six. Is it seed, mother? The seven, sustainability. So here we have a garden in a city. Or an allotment, and we're using solar power as well, which is great. I have solar panels on my roof. Uh, what's this? Here? The fifth sacred thing, which was a movie. Oh, oh, look, got cable cars, greenhouses. Oh, such a lot to see. Eight of Earth, Earth regeneration, the vanishing rainforest. Oh. Yes, replanting. 
nine of earth, all our relations. Okay, you're walking. Ten of earth, mother earth, emergence. So the earth cards have a lot of Gaia energy, don't they? Oh, look at this. Earth, Amazon, daughter. The witches are back. We are the ones we've been here, we've been waiting for. Look at that energy. Spirit connection for the priestess mother in Earth. Here's Caroline's. Oh, and it does. It looks very much like the Weavers, doesn't it? You can tell it's Caroline. Wolf's Milk Udigan, and it's actually from the Weaver's Oracle. And this is the Matriarch. Highly recommend that deck. Earth Crown Sage, Embrace Love the Earth. Okay, turn in again. Okay, one of air, so this would be our sword suit. Ideas, irrepressible, and more into the world. Two of air, dialogue. <laughs> if only over a couple, we women could set the world to rights. <laughs> we try, we try. Intuition for the three. Oh, wow, look at this headspace with this angel and this crescent moon and this bow. Oh. This is so cool. Receiving guidance. Yeah, be open to receive. Hey? Meditation, the shaman woman for the four. This energy, this purity, this light. Stunning. Inspiration for the five. The six, oh yes, I know, I recognise that. Spider Woman. That's from the Goddess Tarot, isn't it? Yeah, Ellen Ramsey Prince, I recognise that. Spider Woman. Seven, Community Council. The future is final. Interesting. Eight of air, goddess consciousness rising, queen of the Amazons. Nine of air, oh look at this, prayer flags flying. Oh, remembering joy. Prana, breath of life for the ten. So the daughter, the Amazon daughter for air is gratitude and look at stars. <laughs> so a lot of these cards are different sort of formats, aren't they? We've got landscape, we've got portraits, we've got smaller images, larger images, so they're all you know being made to fit into this format here and it's working actually so this is the priestess mother calling in the direction sacred vision this is a very magical deck isn't it the air matriarch is the recycling ancient wisdom cosmic whispers the change and the change for the crone or the sage Wow, that's such an interesting image. It's called Wisdom Unmasked, and you can see we've took the mask off here to gain wisdom. Look at this portal. That's an interesting one. Okay, so cups or water. Water is life. This is the water keeper woman. 
totally different art style. Water is love, bathing in heaven's light. Oh. Beautiful. Love makes a family for the three. Guardians of the sensitive moon. So this must be the moon. Riding the waves for the four. Mayoni, a detail of a bigger painting than. Hmm. Oh, look at this. Now, this is the only five where I've seen sort of a, a sadder rendition. You know, fives are usually quite a difficult card, aren't they? But this is the first time I've actually seen one that is a difficult card. So, this is reverence, connection, and protection. Dreaming. Dreams are filled with omens. For the six of water. Moon circle sisters for the seven. This is the seven sisters of the moon. For the eight we have lunar mystery. Wow. Moon dove. Nine of Water, the Cosmic Mother Beloved. Heart to Heart for the Ten. Stream of Compassion. The Amazon Daughter is Moon Time Changing Goddess. Like the boots. <laughs> Priestess Mother, Lunar Consciousness, Water is Life. The Matriarch, Water is Healing. Offering the Healing Waters. And then the Gift of Life for the Crone Sage. Solstice Aloha. Aloha. Well, this deck is uh, its something else, isn't it? It's, uh, it's truly, truly, truly amazing. I'm very slippy. <laughs> it's incredibly slippy. Oh, see, <laughs> it's just going to go everywhere. Hey, there it goes. Okay, so let's draw some cards, shall we? But yeah, oh, be a bit careful, I think, because they're just... Let's see what we've got and how they read. So we have a court card. Oh, it's Caroline's or Caroline. I don't know how to say her name, if it's Caroline or Caroline. But yeah, it's the one from the uh, Weaver's Oracle, which I do have that deck. It's a very special deck. Oh, flying everywhere. Oh, okay, we'll take that one then. Four of air, meditation. And then I'll try and get a major card. Let's go with sacred paths for the major card. Which would be the Hierophant. Okay, so we've got earth, air. I have to put them to one side because they're just slippy. Right, okay. So it's going to be easy to find because they are colour coded. So we did Fire Earth, and I'm looking at the Matriarch. Okay, so this is the Matrix is Autumn, the waning moon in the west, it's Taurus and Venus, which actually doesn't say on the card, but it does here. Saving seeds for future generations. An earth matriarch is a strong foremother of her clan. She has lived through a lot and wants to pass on what she's learned to the ones who come after her so that can continue to survive the future ups and downs and thrive for generations to come. She's a journey woman of many spirit paths. Right now, she has shown you her medicine pouch full of precious saved seeds. 
mm, that might help you with whatever struggles you are going through. Explore the depths of your soul to explore how these seeds can support what is ready to take root in your life when the conditions become ripe for new growth. An auspicious gift is being offered to you. Love the direct stare. Okay, four of air. Four of air meditation. It says mindfulness, ground and centre in the body. Follow the flow of your breath. Moment by moment. No judgment. Notice what is without trying to change it. Just letting it be. Sink below the ripples of thoughts and feelings on the surface of your mind to the still silence in the depths below. Let busyness fall away. This is Saturn in Libra and it helps discipline the mind to keep returning to that space of deep inner calm. Every time monkey mind jumps around to someplace else, just notice it and let it go. Emptying the mind of chatter allows you to be more present. When your mind is at rest, the rest of you can be present too, making room for spirit to sink in. Peace prevails. So we can see here, we've got the Cardinal Sasson in Libra. So it tells you in the book. So uh, Major Arcana card. Sign language. Sacred teachings. Spiritual authority. How do you know what is true? It's written all over her. Sacred paths, indigenous wisdom traditions, wise woman's ways are all passed on by direct embodied transmission through the ages in spiritual teachings, practices, sacred symbols and the daily life experience of those who walk their talk. Words are not enough. In the current social media age of disinformation, Words are even more dissociated from grounding in present lived experience. What wisdom do you carry in the stories your life tells? Ultimately, you are your own spiritual authority. Art, nature, this image, this moment. What does it mean to you? Well, <laughs> so you can sort of feel the energy of this offering from those card meanings in the booklet. They're very strong, they're very um, deep, very deep deck this is. So that has been the Wee Moon Tarot. And what a tarot. Thank you so much for watching. Uh, until my next video, bye for now.